I was a day student at a Catholic orphanage in a small town in upstate New York. I had two friends, Marietta and Lily. One was from the Dominican Republic and the other one was from Haiti. And we were a triumvirate. I was so happy to be back at school. And the good news was Mother Margaret had died. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Margaret was fierce. And they told me in an excited voice that the nun that was replacing her was named Mother Christine. And nobody knew much about her, but she was very little. And we thought, we were pretty big now. We could rule the roost. We would be in charge. We were already planning vicious seven-year-old plans. <laughs> then we walked into the classroom. I was the tallest. I was at the back. We sat down, and the nun came in. She was like a chatty Cathy. She was tiny, tiny, tiny in this black robe with a cross that was enormous. She was starting out right away. Rules, regulations, ha, we weren't scared. But then she had this enormous apple she started to throw in the air, and she'd catch it. Throw in the air, and she'd catch it. Her little hands finally grasped it the last time. And with her utilitarian fingernails, she pushed into that, that apple, and she started to squeeze it. And it squeezed and squeezed and squeezed until it was pulp. We were terrified. <laughs> she threw it into the basket, wiped her hands on them, on her, her habit, and we started school for the rest of the year. <laughs> were we excellent? Were we on task? You want to bet? We were terrified. <laughs> <laughs>